In the bustling streets of Mumbai, there lived a woman named Aisha, whose beauty was renowned far and wide. With eyes as deep as the ocean and a smile that could light up the darkest of alleys, she captivated the hearts of all who beheld her. Her long, luscious hair cascaded down her back like a waterfall, adding to her allure as she walked gracefully through the city. Aisha's elegance was matched only by her intelligence and wit. Despite her captivating appearance, she was a woman of substance, with a sharp mind and a keen sense of humor. Her presence in any room was magnetic, drawing people towards her with an irresistible charm that few could resist. Born into a family of artists, Aisha possessed a creative spirit that flourished in the vibrant tapestry of Indian culture. She was a skilled dancer, effortlessly moving to the rhythm of traditional music with grace and precision. Her performances mesmerized audiences, transporting them to a world of beauty and emotion. Beyond her talents, Aisha was known for her compassion and generosity. She dedicated much of her time to charitable endeavors, using her influence to uplift those in need. Whether it was supporting local schools or providing aid to the less fortunate, she was always ready to lend a helping hand. Despite her many admirers, Aisha remained humble and grounded, never letting her beauty or fame go to her head. She valued kindness and humility above all else, believing that true beauty lay in the depths of one's soul rather than in outward appearances. Her humility only added to her allure, making her all the more enchanting in the eyes of those who knew her. As the sun set over the city skyline, Aisha stood on her balcony, gazing out at the twinkling lights below. She was grateful for the blessings life had bestowed upon her, but she knew that true happiness came from within. With a contented smile, she whispered a silent prayer of gratitude, knowing that her journey was far from over and that the beauty of her soul would continue to shine for all to see.